Hello everybody, today I will be trying to figure out which one of these two YouTubers are better skill-wise as Survivor, probs or useless. I have watched each of their content a lot, but probably useless a little more. So I will be trying to analyze data based off of their YouTube videos to try and come up with results for who the best one is. By the way, I don't really watch Twitch and going through their streams would take way too long, so I will be using the YouTube videos they post as data. I watched each of their last videos to get a refresher and to see where their skill is at the moment. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with Useless. Useless started making Dead by Daylight videos starting around mid-2017. These were, now outdated, looping tutorials. Useless is definitely the veteran of these two. Useless is a survivor main and claims to be the best survivor in North America. Most of his videos center around him destroying killers with different builds or underrated perks. The last video Useless posted, he faced three killers, two pyramid heads, and a very, very skilled but odd huntress. The first game was kind of close, but Useless was still able to get himself and a teammate out. The thing was, the killer was rank 14. The second match was against a strange acting huntress in which Useless died. The Huntress was strange because she played differently than any other Huntress and was way more physical with her melee attacks and had a very unusual build for Huntress. The last killer he faced was a Pyramid Head that he was toxic to the entire game because the killer brought Lightborn and chased the Pyramid Head around for most of the game. He ended up dying but only because he wasn't able to use his decisive strike and the Pyramid Head face camped him in retaliation of his toxicity. I do not know the rank of the last Pyramid Head though. One escape and two deaths. The second death wasn't really deserved as he did loop the killer for a while, basically the entire game, but I guess Karma got him. The first death against the Hunter showed a humongous flaw in him as a whole. He has been playing the game so long and learned each killer so well that he doesn't seem to know how to really adapt. This, in my opinion, is his biggest weakness. The Hunter made him look like a rank 10 survivor when he claims to be the best in North America. Him having a somewhat difficult time, but not really, against a rank 14 killer it does take away some points, but not many, because he didn't struggle that much. It seems as if Useless has lost some of his edge in my opinion, as his older videos showed him making almost every killer look like a baby. Now, let's move on. Probs, the up and coming Dead by Daylight YouTuber, seeing massive growth recently and he is close to hitting 200,000 subscribers. Probs is known for using different builds in almost every video and is also known for being an incredible survivor in Dead by Daylight. Let's review his most recent video. He faced a Legion, Demogorgon, and Trickster. Now, these killers aren't nearly as strong as Pyramid Head and Huntress. I do not know the ranks of these killers, let's just assume they're in red and purple since Probs is a rank 1. He ran each killer for a long time. Legion's first chase, generators were close to popping by the time Legion gave up on the chase, and the second chase was for two gens. Thanks to Probs, all of them were able to get out because of him outplaying the Legion at the end. The second game, Probs ran Demogorgon for only a generator before getting down from a botched hit, though the chase actually lasted for a minute and 40 seconds, which is actually pretty good. Only one generator popped though. Probs then was able to get everybody out. The last game against the Trickster, Probs ran him for the last three generators of the game and was able to make enough space to run out of the exit gate. This shows three escapes with everybody getting out each time. Probs seemed to a mastered survivor in my opinion, despite only playing for what I can assume to be a couple years. I feel as if it had been a few months prior, Useless would have won this easily, but he seems to have lost his touch as he has claimed to have gotten bored with the game. You could argue that Probs only put in the best games he got but Useless put in the first three he recorded, but I'm just going off of what I saw. Useless is way more experienced, but seems to have adaptability issues that I feel Probs might have handled just a little bit better. I wish you both good luck, and if Useless works hard, I think he could overtake Probs once again. Thank you for watching, and I tried to be as unbiased as possible. Goodbye. Almost immediately after writing this script, Probs made a new video, which honestly helped his case even more, since he ended up facing a Huntress that was also a streamer. This Huntress was very skilled, but Probs absolutely destroyed it and made the Huntress look honestly pretty bad, though we all know that's not true. But yeah, thank you for watching the video, and if you're a useless fan, I still think he's very talented, I just feel like Probs currently is just a little bit better. 
though I still feel like they are both extremely incredible survivors and content creators. Make sure to like and subscribe the video as well because I plan on doing this with other YouTubers and I also post my own Dead by Daylight content. And now for the second time and last time, goodbye. Thank you.